Hi, hello, hey, and welcome to Rushed Vibes. I am Jessica Rushed Vibes Rushing with Mr. David Rushed Vibes Rushing. And it's the vibe for me. Welcome back. I seemed a little extra. Slightly, slightly extra. For but. those who are just listening, I might, I have a t-shirt that says it's the blank for me. So um, I inserted vibe in place of the blank. It's not extra at all. It's very fitting. Very fitting. It's the vibe. It is the vibe. Mm. That's vibes. What's up? I don't know. You don't know? It's been a minute. It's been a minute. A few, actually. A few minutes. So I don't. I don't know how to jump back into this. I feel like there are people who forgot we had a podcast, and there are people who probably think we forgot we had a podcast, and we're just right in the middle. And people who don't even know that we have a podcast. That, that part too. It's like a what's that diagram we used to do in school? Ben. I was gonna say that, but that didn't feel right. Yeah, a Venn diagram. It's also like the Spider-Man gif. You, you, you. They're just pointing at each other. But we are back. Rushed Vibes Tribe. It's been it's been a while. A few weeks. A few weeks, yeah. About a month, maybe. Three. A little more. Yeah. Um, a lot has happened. A lot in, has happened. In that... Since the last episode dropped. Um, and I really think the initial pause was caused by me being sick. Yep. So I caught the plague. Because um, I don't know what it I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was COVID, the flu, RSV, strep throat. It's just easier to say the plague. Um, and it knocked me down. Uh, Took her out. I'm a little dark with this eyeshadow. I was trying to do a smoky eye, and I saw a tutorial on one of the... So we're, do, we're doing this. Yeah. Doing but this it, I didn't want to look like a raccoon, but I feel like giving raccoon vibes. Um, so yeah, I, I, I caught the plague, and it, it knocked me all the way down. Uh, I don't know, outside of COVID, the last time I was that sick. I was so sick... The onset of the sickness showed up on Monday. You were out. You came home. I was putting the little ones to bed. And I was like, I am so cold and so tired. And I think you were like, so you're getting sick. And I was like, I, I guess that's what I'm doing. And that's what I did. So mon it was a Monday. Mm -hmm. I was in bed. I worked through it. You did. I, I had my laptop in bed. My Every day that I would talk to my boss, she would say, you still sound like death. And she was like, are you sure you don't want to take time off? And I was like, time off. You had lost your voice a little bit too, didn't you? Yeah. At one point I did lose my voice. I was cold. I was shivering. I was sweating. I was aching. I was everything. Um, I didn't eat for six days. The most I consumed was tea. And it was the week leading up to Solace's birthday or her birthday party. And then the next week was your birthday trip. So I was like, I just thank God that I got sick this week. If there was ever a perfect time to get sick, it was this week. Um, I lost 10 pounds. Like these are high waisted jeans and they're like right under the like protecting my rib cage like every pair of pants could be maternity pants on me now um yeah. so i'm not i'm not mad about that uh, i jokingly had said it'd be i was like I was like chatting god i was like it'd be nice to lose a few pounds before the trip to aruba which is where we went we'll get to that um and then i got sick with the plague and lost 10 pounds so not the recommended diet dietary direction to go in yeah please was, please don't just stop eating but i did volunteer <laughs> it's not, to cough on people it's not healthy i, I did um, if they need to lose some weight yeah uh so that was i think that's kind of what started 
or decline in episodes because I was I was sick. He didn't even like ask like and usually you ask and you were just like, nah, I'm just going to leave you in that dark room. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because I just I knew it wasn't wasn't going to happen. Mm -mm. It, it would have been a bad episode, a really bad episode. Yeah. So then we also went to Aruba. We did go to Aruba. I successfully pulled off a surprise trip. Unless he's just been a really good liar. I, he did not know where we were going until we got to the gate. And even then he couldn't see the signs. So we thought we were going to Atlanta. <laughs> I was like, sir. I was like, I know this chick did not hype up. hype up for like two months to take me to Atlanta. Like, nah, we went to Aruba <laughs> to Aruba and it was fun. We rented a car. It was a, it was a very different trip from last year. Right. Um, we, I think it was a little more adventurous. We, you know, we left the resort. We, you know, we drove around. We're using offline maps of the island of Aruba. We're just driving around in the tiniest little car. I don't know that I've ever. When was it a Ford? Figo. Oh yeah, Ford Figo. I think the car is a, was the size of our dining table. <laughs> it was so itty bitty. It was tiny. But it was just so fun to drive my first our first time driving in foreign country. Um, it was so fun to just like whip that little thing around. Had no reverse camera, like no nothing, nothing. no modern anything. It, I'm surprised our suitcases fit, but we we did it we were just by the end of the trip like we could have lived in aruba the way we were so comfortable just driving yeah. through the streets um it's a beautiful island uh very it was still even in that time of year very humid um i because i was sick i didn't get to braid my hair so i went with my hair um free and every time i would style my hair it would become unstyled as soon as we went outside. And so it was really like, I put all this effort into my hair for it to be unefforted. Um, He's just making up words. I am. Okay. I love doing, That's making what we're up doing. words. Uh, but other than that, I had a good time in Aruba. You know me, if I'm taking David on a trip, I'm going to, I'm going to spoil him. Cause you know, when you, uh, when you signed in to target on my phone so that I could go do your pickup, you can see orders. So now I can see that. You made another order. I did. Because I'm trying to get ahead for one thing I realized I'm bad at because y'all Christmas is in a week. Um, Monday. One thing I'm bad at is buying like multiple gifts for the kids. And Solace caught me last year. She was like, how come we never get any gifts from Santa? And I was like, oh, like I, we know she's sharp, but she's like philosopher level so sharp. So I said, this year I'm going to try to have, we usually just do like a big gift for everybody. Like each kid will get a big gift. Um, but this year I kind of wanted to have multiple gifts. Oh, like let them have a, an experience with unwrapping things. So um, I'm trying, I don't want to have to run around this weekend to get stuff. So I'm like, if I can get it at Target and I can pull up into a spot, I'll do it. So that's that's what I'm doing. Cool. Yeah. And I'm, I'll be, sure, I'm I'll be also, sure to keep sure to keep tabs. I'm also changing my password <laughs> for Target. <laughs> what else? Uh, that was Aruba. And we'll have to and do another came, episode about Aruba in depth and, if we want to. Yeah. And then we came. I mean, we came home. We recorded. A podcast episode, an interview that will wasn't that we did that before, mm -hmm. right? Before we left, we did that before, like early November. No, I thought we did it in December. Did we? Yeah, we did it in. Uh, yeah, we did December second was an option. We did it in November. Did we? Mm -hmm. I have to check. So what did we do after we we haven't recorded since you we came back and you got sick. I did get sick because I got sick. I was sick around Thanksgiving. This was sick. Like every whatever we had was just like hiding behind oh, the curtain. And then that we came it. back. Solace was out of school for a week. Um, a week in like two days. Yeah, she was. She was out of school for a hot minute. She went to school 
after being out for like six days and then the school nurse called me and she was like she's got a fever so she needs to be picked up so picked her up took her to the doctor and on the way to the doctor she was like i want chipotle and i was like she's like me when she gets sick y'all are so like they don't know how to get i get sick i lose 10 pounds they get sick and they're like Mm -hmm. craving a barbecue chicken a barbecue bacon burger that's what he was craving one time when he was sick fried chicken i'm like this is not how sickness works um and then you got sick and the little ones they were on and off they couldn't decide what they were going through and then sonoma was just going through this tantrum mess i don't know i think she was sick and we just couldn't identify it and she was just having meltdowns i'm talking hour straight of just crying um don't recommend it i don't recommend what exactly i don't recommend i can't tell you but i don't we don't recommend kids um and then we just we've just been so busy with you know our side projects our side life our other identity now so we've been neat and life has just been lifing and and the last week was a draining week um for us and i think we were just finally like you know what you were like, it's it's time. Yeah. We've actually been trying to record for probably about the better part of a week, you know? You have. I've. <laughs> but every time, every night, because we have to record at night, uh, every time I'd fall asleep putting the kids to bed or Jessica would fall asleep or the kids wouldn't go to sleep. But I finally, tonight, I, I set up the set up the lights, set up the cameras. I was like, nah, it's, it's going to happen. And we here we are. We don't do it. And here we are. Here we sit. But it's only like 50% of the way. Like you still have to edit and make sure it goes up. I do have to edit. You're right. So. I'll get it done. This might not happen. I'll get it done. Okay. If I, if we record. It's Monday too. I got. You got this. Four days. To edit. Oh, I'm still going to Thursday night. Yeah. But. <laughs> now nah, we'll get it up. Before we jump into it. So. I. Um. As a lot of people know, or maybe don't know, I have a background in experiential marketing. So that's essentially marketing for brands directly to the consumer at interactive events. So, but I've transitioned to being, you know, more behind the scenes in my role. I, you know, can work sick in bed. Um, But an old coworker of mine reached out and she sent me a picture. She said, my old boss needs somebody in Charlotte. Are you interested? And I was like, I'm retired. I don't do this whole standing. I, I sit, I, I, I tell people to stand. <laughs> but I was like, you know what? My day, that day is clear. Why turn down? Let, let's, let's do it. So I jumped in. I pulled my friend Jess in with me as well. And we shout out to J2. Shout out to J2. Um, and we rocked it out. We got to work this event with um, Jordan. He has a foundation. And there were 25 high school kids who got to go to um, a Hibbit store. And they ended up getting like $1,000 gift cards each. They met uh, Bryce Young the quarterback of the Panthers, like there was a DJ, they got food, they got uh, a free pair of Jordans that have not been released yet. They might be out now at the time they weren't released. They were black and white. I should have gotten a pair of those, but they didn't have my size. Um, But I ended up getting these and these are my first pair. I'm trying to like angle my foot. This is my first pair of Jordans. So I'm actually really excited. They are slightly big, but and like I have been saying that I want to be a sneakerhead. I don't know what I don't know what you're supposed to do to become a sneakerhead. I, I wish there was some kind of like documentary I could watch. Um, a podcast like becoming a sneakerhead. But I'm like super excited. So I wore these tonight, um, out of excitement and to share them with you. I'm not gonna break myself to show you guys, but um, I'm sure this camera can see them. But yeah, so came out of retirement. My back was killing. You want to try to put your foot up one more time, just for there you go. My foot, my back was killing me. My like I was like I am not 
conditioned for this anymore. But it was a fun event, a one timer. Like God worked everything out. Like meetings were canceled. Like no, there were no ask of me for the day. So mm. I was like, it is, this was nice. Um, so just wanted to share that. But that's what's up. Yeah. I'm glad you did it. And you guys, fresh yeah, pair of jeans. I got some Jordan sweatpants and those. I gotta walk. I gotta do laundry. Those things are. They look nice. Those things are soft. I was jealous. So I tried to tell get you. Yeah, no, I know. I'm, I'm not. You're like no. Nah. Totally. I'm good. Deal with the public. They were they were kids. Public. <laughs> <laughs> public. But I'm happy they got. I'm happy they had their experience. Yeah, and they. That's what's most important. So I'm like, I'm gonna watch this foundation and make sure my kids are part of it when they get older. Yep. So it's really good. You Man. Don't. <laughs> um. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. But uh maybe I should interview you. Maybe we should we should pivot the conversation. I interview you. You want to interview me? Not interview, but like yeah, pro responses cuz this is now this part of the episode is really transitioning to you and just kind of a season that you are entering, have entered are preparing for so i'll i'll set it up okay from my perspective your perspective and then you can fill in the blanks sure but i'm usually really detail oriented and i tell stories very well so i doubt you'll have to fill in the blanks anywhere mm. so let's take it back to what july we can do july so we go to july we're in july it's hot hot as ecuador Cause it's, it's not that hot. Cause it's <laughs> North Carolina in July. Not that hot. Um, life's busy, but Meta rolls out with Threads. What's, Meta being the parent company of Facebook. Yes. What and Instagram. And Instagram, what, WhatsApp, and what's Threads? What What is this thing? You tell me. Just join it. Okay. Cool. You say jump. Sometimes I question, but I'm like, all right. <laughs> You join it, I'll join it. I join right. it, you join it. You're just one of those innovators. You get in on things early. Um, or try to, at least. Limited hesitation. So I got this app. I don't know what I'm doing with it. Uh, I'm still referencing the app formerly known as Twitter as it is burning itself yeah. from the inside out, um, becoming Truth Social Junior. And that's it like that's really what's going on so you know we're knocking on the start of basketball season and so we're fast forwarding yeah because i don't know what happened between july and the start of basketball i season. thought this is where you would you would ask me oh what happened <laughs> you don't have a lot of experience interviewing people do you i first of all first of all i'm an amazing interviewer i just oh okay you say so um so yeah i had heard during the summer that Meta was prepping a text-based um, social media app to rival Twitter. And that it would, uh, I think I heard it during the, f during like the playoffs is when it first leaked because one of the, one of the, f the mock screenshots said something about Dennis Schroeder, who was the point guard for the Lakers, like saying Dennis Schroeder is like the best point guard ever or something. It was something outlandish. So that's the only reason why I remember seeing it. So that was back in like May going into uh, going. So that in was strategic marketing. Well, it leaked. Okay. Allegedly. It leaked. So I, probably, I mean, I don't know. So I think in July, I can't remember what the actual day was, maybe like around the 15th ish. Uh, some article said that it was rumored to, to be dropping like any day now. And then I was actually out in the field working and happened to look at my phone and it was like, go sign up for threads. And they made it really easy. You can just basically pour it over your, your Instagram profile. Don't recommend. So, <laughs> so I, I jumped in, signed up, sent it to you. And it was cool that first night, a whole bunch of people jumped, jumped in, you know, uh, Woj for those of you who follow the NBA, a lot of celebrities were there. People were posting and, not a lot of people knew how it worked. 
So they assumed that they could just do what they did on Twitter mm -hmm. and post it on threads and it would just, it would go like it does on Twitter. And it didn't <laughs> for a lot of people. So everybody who's familiar with threads kind of knows the story that first, I think the first week they had like a hundred, hundred million people sign up and then it, it sort of tailed off and dramatically in, in some instances. So I was on pretty, pretty hard for the first couple of weeks, first week or two. And I just, you know, just kind of went away from it because it's July. It's like dead of summer. And I wasn't really on X or Twitter, whatever we're calling it either. So I just kind of wasn't really doing anything social media wise, just like Facebook and, you know, the occasional Instagram post. <clears throat> but then the preseason, NBA preseason started and I kind of dabbled in a little bit and was like, Hey, is NBA threads a thing? Cause you know, you have NBA Twitter. So I was like, Oh, is NBA threads a thing? And nothing he goes, you know, with when threads launched, there were no hashtags. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there were no, no na native gift support. It's no search function, no universal search. You couldn't search like sayings or words. You can only search for accounts. So it was very bare bones. So I was just like, is NBA Threads a thing? And like nobody responded. So I was like, I oh, guess not. <laughs> so, and then October 24th, the, uh, was the opening night and I got on and just posted a, made a post and it was something like NBA Threads, where y'all at? And it was like a Russell Westbrook gift where he's like going up to the crowd back when he was in OKC and a bunch of people just started jumping in and they're like, oh, right here, right here, right here, right here. I think it got it. It got a bunch of likes, probably like over hundred, which is really good, really good for threads. And at the time, I only had, I think, like a hundred and like fifty followers or something like that. So it was it was pretty substantial. And then I was interacting with like so many people that it was just it was just crazy, like just every night there was just more and more engagement. And my phone was <laughs> going off at all hours of the night. And, um, y'all, if I wasn't an insecure woman, cause there was one night I was like, who is texting you? I almost snatched up his phone and looked because I did not understand why I was awake and he was asleep and his phone was going off. Yeah. And so I had interacted with so many people that one day, I think it was the following week, I had just said, man, there's a lot of people who are still saying like, oh, how do I find like NBA threads or who, how do I get into NBA threads? So I just had the idea to make this really big post with like everybody I'd interacted with who had been interested in the NBA that over the course of that week. And so I did it. And fortunately, Threads had built in a feature where you can just like long press. If there's like a, a, a post where there's a lot of people tagged, you can long press and then it just makes it easier to, to follow them. So otherwise I would have felt really bad if people just had to go one by one. So I did it and you know, a lot of people really appreciated it and uh, it kind of helped start, you know, kind of getting the community built, people being more familiar with each other. I think I did it twice did that first big one. And then I think I did one a couple of weeks later, but it just, uh, it just kind of happened. And I've spent a lot of time on it. That first week I know I spent a lot of time on it. Mm. I did my, I did my screen time for the first week and it was embarrassing how much time I'd spent on threads. So that's another reason why we haven't been here because I've been so yeah. threats has taken over. It's taken over his family. So even Jessica has started watching regular season basketball, which is crazy because uh, the NBA threads community is one. It's cool. It's not really toxic. It's tight knit and everybody kind of, everybody has their own team, but everybody kind of, nobody's outlandish or outrageous. Mm -hmm. I you think know. I'm the most outlandish. Cause I, cause you're always rooting, always rooting against me. Badgering the Lakers. Yeah. So, yeah, that's this. So now, um, 
<laughs> He's just being so casual and it's, nonchalant. It's so it's because it's. I don't even. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to me, and I still don't. Really, I've really processed, like a lot, like because everything happens so quickly. Like, I'll never talk about followers, right? I'm not one of those people who brags about how many followers they have, but for context. Opening night of the NBA had a hundred, like 150 ish followers. By that Sunday, I think I hit a thousand, mm-hmm. which is crazy. And one night I went for like, I woke up Thursday, had six something, and then went to bed. I woke up Friday morning, had like six something, went to bed Friday, and had like 900. So like 301. Like it's just, I, I'm not used to that kind of activity mm-hmm. around my social media profile. So. It's just it was just kind of all kind of a blur, but everybody seemed to really take to those big community post oriented posts I did, and then just a lot of the stuff I put out, and started getting messages from people uh, who I think some were following me, and then some I don't know that they were following me at the time, but they were like, you know, hey, just really appreciate all your NBA content and. You know, keep doing, keep doing your thing. You're really helping to grow threads, and I was kind of just like, yeah, you know, whatever. <laughs> it, was, it was like, no, you say like that thanks. To all. You say that to everybody. Like, yeah, I, I appreciate it, but yeah, whatever. Like this, that's not true. Um, and just kind of keep keep doing it, and uh, I think one it was a couple weeks later, two weeks, two three weeks after the season started, I get um, I get a chateau. About, I think we could save that. Save that, okay. So, um, <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll we'll circle back another day. I think one thing that I wanted to touch on because you brought like so I'm very much so I easily get annoyed when David is excessively on his phone. So that's always so I'm always I'm <laughs> essentially always annoyed. Um, I'm just kidding. I'm not always annoyed, but I'm frequently annoyed because. Um, when he dials into something he's in it and so everything else like the house can be burning and he's like in his zone um but he had mentioned it and i was just like i don't think i really care (laughs) but i he kept talking about it he kept talking about it so i was like you know what let me see what this thing is about um and he just alluded i am not an in-season Bas- I'm typically not an in-season basketball player. I am usually, and that's because for years I had been burned out. It was always basketball, basketball, basketball. I'm usually playoffs and finals. Like that, that catch me at catch me in May. That's that's usually when I am like invested and concerned about basketball. But you know, he keeps talking. He keeps you know telling me about you know what's happening here. So I, I come in there. I, 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 I don't even know that I, I think I was brought in. I think I was tagged. He, he posted, he made a post that was saying like, essentially shout out to the spouses of like NBA fans. Cause you know, you, you all have to deal with basketball 24 seven at this point. So from there, I started getting people following me and shouting me out. And I was like, yo, what, are, what is happening here? What is going on? And again, it all happened so quick. I started getting involved in conversations. You know, I, y'all know me, I'm going to troll David any chance I get. Um, So I I started throwing in some things there. I think you had posted that I was taking you away for your birthday. Um, So then that added some more engagement. But it was like, this place is actually kind of fun because I played basketball in high school. But I didn't really learn the fundamentals in terms of like terminology. So there were like basic things that I know, but there's a lot of stuff that happens in basketball that I get, but I don't get. So I I try not to speak publicly about things if I don't feel confident about it. But what and I don't know if threads did this intentionally or if they knew this was going to happen or if this is something that just happened so organically that they were like yo just keep going with it mm-hmm. but they really at least the nba threads community they really built a place 
the people who are a part of it are outliers and they want a place to have genuine conversation about basketball. Um, it's, it's not a matter of it's, it's factual based. It's not a matter of, um, your guy sucks, blah, blah, blah. It's just a matter of, we are all fans of basketball. So I got pulled in because I think one of, um, it wasn't, I don't want to say people's names. Um, in one of his posts, he ta he said Trader Joe's. So you pulled me in there and I was like, oh, there's a place I could talk about Trader Joe's because y'all know I will evangelize Trader Joe's all day, every day. And then I was just like, oh, like the water is nice. Like it's comfortable. It's not too intimidating. Like I, I get to troll you on the Lakers and I tell her, I've said it a couple of times, like come finals when they're in it. If they're not going against Golden State, I'm likely going to root for them. Um, or I might not. I feel like my my trope is to not root for the Lakers. But it, it it's just become a place of it's genuine community. It's really weird. Uh, it's not your it doesn't feel like your normal social media. Mm -hmm. um, and I think. Meta struck gold mm -hmm. unintentionally. Mm. Um, because like you said, they were creating something that was supposed to rival the app formerly known as Twitter. But now you've got this place where people are not entertaining trolling, like legitimate trolling. Um, they, they, they want a happy place and I'm sure there's going to, I keep saying, I'm like, there's going to be a documentary, but I'm sure there's going to be some kind of breakdown with data that shows the types of personalities that are thriving in threads. Like there have been people who have posted, like I was having a really bad day and y'all got me through it. Mm. And if you think about it, this is a place of strangers. Mm. None of us know each other. I mean, a handful, you've got a handful, but for the most part, we have built relationships and bonds over the course of six to eight weeks with complete strangers who do not feel like strangers. You, you feel obligated if you're doing it right. In my opinion, you're all, you feel obligated to engage with, with people, to have conversation with people. It's not, it seems like a place where you really have to be selfless, where it's like, I'm actually contributing to the conversation, not forcing the conversation. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it's cool. I, I like it. I like seeing the, the community rally around you as well. And just their support of you and you rally like, around me. it's like, that's my man. That's, that's, that's my guy. <laughs> um, like I, I'm, I'm wait. I'm, I'm, I'm just the troll in me is waiting for someone to like comment something that's like groupie esque and I'll, whoo, I'm nailing the coffin and I know they're all going to like back me, but it's just been a lot, a lot of fun. It's like, it's almost like high school. You got like the jocks, the cool kids, but then you've got that table where it's just a little bit of everybody. That's kind of what threads feels like. And it, 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 it's confusing because some people are coming in and they're not sure how it works and they think they can apply the same tactic. Oh, I've got 250 followers on Instagram. I'll just bring that over here. But it's like the community is very different mm -hmm. and you have to recognize the difference in how this community is operating. And I really think it's a, I think it's an accident like, I feel like there are people at Meta, they were not, they were like, I don't know how this happened, but we're just going to go with it. Like, and that's, and that's that we're just going to go with it. But it's cool because when I, when Twitter, I don't know what year Twitter came out. I know when I got into it, it was like my freshman year of college, freshman, sophomore year. Um, and I wasn't on the ground level of it. It was very much so like, what are you supposed to do here? Um, so it's nice to kind of have that perspective being at the beginning of something. And, and I came in late, but I'm still like early enough that it's like, I can see how it is. And I, I just, I enjoy it. It's fun. Um, I'll, you probably don't want me to say this, but I'm going to say it. A lot of people, he's David has started to be referred to as the mayor of NBA threads. And I almost changed his contact in my phone to Mayor Rush, but 
I really like what I refer to as in my phone, so I don't want to change it. Um, but it's it's really cool that like people know you by your handle. People refer to yeah. you. Like, people appreciate your opinion, the the way you're able to interact with people and still be true to yourself. Like you haven't gotten an ego. You haven't gotten a big head about it. You're just like, I'm a guy who loves basketball and I love talking about it with other people who love basketball. This That's is, the episode, y'all. Thank you for... <laughs> is this where I, I come in? Because I could have sworn, sworn you said you were going to interview me and you just didn't. <laughs> so I don't, I don't I just don't know if I'm supposed to sit here and smile or if there's actually like a question coming mm-hmm. or if it's just... Mm-hmm. See, I'm such mm-hmm. a great journalist. I know all the answers to the questions I would ask. So yeah. I just say it. Mm. Master class right there. Yeah. Um I think the really cool <clears throat> part about threads is that it's it's different from most social media <clears throat> sites in terms of how it operates. So whereas like a, a Twitter would prioritize accounts based on how many followers they had or their follower to following ratio, Mm -hmm. their posts would kind of get more priority when it went, when they were, when, if you were a big account and you made a post, it would kind of get priority when you put it out into the, into the site. I think there's still an element of that. Obviously the more followers you have, the more your, your message gets seen, but threads really, really prioritizes, uh, engagement Mm -hmm. so not just putting out a picture of yourself but maybe putting out a picture of yourself but asking a question and as you get replies you kind of actually going in and engaging see that's all i I really did is i would ask i would put a post on but hey what something as simple as what game are you watching tonight and somebody would reply and then i would be like oh you're watching the knicks like i wonder what jayla brunson is going to do tonight or is Randall going to shoot better than 20% because early in the season, like he was, he was really struggling with his jump shot. And so I guess that was kind of <clears throat> giving the algorithm what it wanted. So more and more people kept, kept finding my post, but I think it, it, it helps because it really makes you like buy in, if that makes sense. You can't like, like you say, those big accounts, they'll just come in and drop a, a link to their Instagram photo or try to link back to Twitter. And then you get, you know, I've seen 70, 80, 100,000 follower accounts post stuff and get like three likes. <laughs> like, it's crazy. You need to like really commit if you want to. I don't know if it do well, but if you want to enjoy your time on the app, if you, mm-hmm. if you want to make it worthwhile, you got to really, you know, invest and commit to it. <laughs> so, I mean, that's why I, I've enjoyed it. Finding a community and, and really helping build it in terms of what is acceptable and what isn't. Like a lot of people don't, when they see somebody start to get a little, a little toxic, Okay. <laughs> they'll be like, they'll be like, no, nah, we're not, we're not doing that we here. Do that here. And uh, somebody might catch a block, or they might catch a hide all reply. And that's what's really cool is the tools that they give individual users, so you can hide a reply, so that no one can see it. As long as somebody replies to you, you can hide it for anybody who comes across your post. Um, and then you can block, and then that, of course that helps train the algorithm, so you don't see the kind of content that you're blocking. But that's one thing that's kind of helped separate it is that people won't hesitate if they see somebody acting foolish or, you know, somebody's trying to be a troll or whatever. They just don't want toxicity. Yeah, they want toxicity. So the fact that it was new, it was refreshing to not have a toxic place because everywhere becomes toxic. You get on Facebook, yeah. people comment on the new stuff and, it you know, you start fighting in the in the comments. So threats gave people like a little bit of peace and... Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I I'm I enjoy it. I'm a big. We know. 
I'm a big, big fan of, of threats. We know mayor. Uh, so Mr. Mayor. You know, the mayor thing is, and the, the whole story behind the mayor thing is really funny. Um, is there a story? I don't know that I know the story. There is a story. And maybe I'll save it for another day. Oh. But it was one of those nicknames that, that I got. And at first it was like, ah, oh, and then it just stuck. Where'd it go? <laughs> like people kept calling. Like it started with literally started with one person. My guy, he knows who he is. He referred to me as mayor. And I was like, yeah, right, whatever. And then like the next day, another person called me mayor. And then another person called me. It was just, and then it just stuck. I'm like, y'all, <laughs> I'm not the mayor of anything. I ain't the mayor of my own house. My own kids don't want me to drop them off at school. They want their mom to drop them off. So like, the fact that people would call me man, people I haven't even met, mm-hmm. like people who weren't even that familiar with my account, they would be like, "Oh, you're Mayor Rush, Mayor Mario Rush, or Mayor NBA Threads," and to be like, "I'm just, I'm just one of everybody else." Like I really, I, all I care about is this thing growing and continuing to be welcoming to people who want to come in and talk, talk NBA ball, and then in the summertime when the WNBA starts, WNBA ball, like I just wanted to be the, I just, as threads wants to be the de facto location for conversation. I want NBA threads to be the de facto place for healthy, engaging NBA conversation, basketball conversation. Mm-hmm. And it's not intimidating at all. Hmm? I said it's not intimidating. Oh, at yeah, all. No. Like that you got your experts like yo, you, some of y'all are just experts, and I'm like mm, my percentages and acronyms and all that. And then you got your me's who I'm like, I'm just going to pick whichever team has the pretty jersey today, or I'm just going off vibes, picking up, picking which team. Just vibes. I, I go off of, um, and I don't have to feel like I need to know everything because there are players like I don't know players' names. I know like my OGs and there's some that I'm like, I thought he retired like four seasons ago. Um, but no, it's a, it's a, it's a great place. Everyone's so nice. I obviously talk about other things outside of basketball. So mm-hmm. I'm like in the cocktail threads in, that's really the only other community I'm like hashtagging, but like we're having other conversations, not just around like today I got into like a parenting conversation with someone from NBA threads. And it like, I just posted something that Salas had asked me and she, and she happens to be an educator or a former educator. So it just kind of spurred into just, you know, educational advice and how to, you know, engage a child's mind and keep them asking questions and being inqu- inquisitive. And it's like, yeah. all this came from a community of people that, I was talking to about basketball and, you know, we're talking about like, where are you eating? Where are you traveling to? So it's, it, it, there is a lot more nuance to it. Mm. But again, like you said, it's not just a matter of, I'm going to put this post up and everyone's going to gravitate to it. No, you have to engage. You have to have, have and want to have conversation. So, you know, in the past week, the EU has joined, um, and, They've kind of shifted things a little Shout bit. Shout out to our EU brothers and sisters. Yeah. Yo. Um, they shifted things a little bit because now Miss France, US, like 2024, has been the top um, hashtag for like three days now. Has it really? Yes. And I'm like, how, do you, know, how do you know this? Because whenever I hit hashtag, oh, it's Miss it France 2024. And I'm like, y'all haven't picked, picked her yet? <laughs> like, yeah. why? I, you know, I stopped using tags. Really? I did. Why? Um, I noticed a lot of people, myself included, were just, I felt like over, over using, you know, over tagging, uh, when they, when it first launched, it was a great play. The idea was to help you find conversations that you want to be, that you're interested in. And it was great. It launched while I was out of town. And, um, you know, I put some posts out in NBA threads and, you know, a lot of people saw it and a lot of other people who normally didn't get the kind of, I guess, visibility that they norm that they, who normally got visibility that they normally wouldn't have uh, by using the tags. 
but I don't know if it's because they were prepping for the EU to come over or if it's just everybody was using NBA threads. Uh, I noticed that one post that I, I accidentally posted without a tag got a lot more visibility, I think, mm -hmm. than an NBA threads there. tagged post. So I was like, huh, I thought that was weird. So I just stopped using it. <laughs> And I haven't really noticed a difference. Like, I, I don't get any less engagement. I probably get more than what I was getting in the latter, latter stages of, of using the NBA threads tag. So, um, but the tags do help, I think, when you're trying to discover different communities, I guess, or maybe ones that aren't as established as NBA threads. So, like, if I wanted to jump into Finn Twit financial um well i guess not twit because that's I was like, Twitter. What? uh fin fin, fin threads excuse me you know i would do that and then like the uh, f1 mm -hmm. i've been hearing about it one somebody had actually hit me up randomly on one of my nba posts and they were like you should check out f1 i was like the car like the race and stuff and she was like yeah i was like all right i'll check it out so i put out a post with the F1 tag and was like, where should I start? And I just got like, boom, oh, try this, watch this. Oh, here's this YouTube clip. Oh, what? Here's this, you like, watch that. I was like, like damn. <laughs> like, y'all really found this post, huh? So I think it helps in, in those instances. But for NBA threads, and uh, I think accounts that are a little bit more established uh, in terms necessary. of the algorithm, I don't know that it's really necessary. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's, it's nice to have, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you bring up a good point. If you just... I don't I don't know the masterminds behind the algorithm. I don't mm -hmm. know the the science of algorithm, but it seems with threads if you thread about it enough, if you sow it. You thread it. No, they you will come. Sow it enough. You will reap it. Like I was just You know, I don't even know that the meta people really know how it works. Understand the algorithm, which is weird to me, right? Like cuz somebody has to create. But that's why I said I think all of this was by accident and it's just like, yo, let's just see what it does yeah like some of the best masterpieces don't have a full plan it's just right. like the, let it happen yeah. so like i started writing about cocktails just like and before i knew it and this was before the hashtag it was just like mm, cocktail post food post mba post so you can without even putting in the effort you can tailor your feed based off of what you want to see when we mm -hmm. were in aruba and coming back from aruba a lot of my the post i was seeing was like last airport picture you you posted or you took last um trip you were on last sunset mm -hmm. like last like de different destinations yeah. and i think that was attributed to the fact that it was like aruba this aruba that like I'm showing that I'm, I'm actively traveling. So mm -hmm. I love that about the algorithm where it's just like, if I'm interested in something, I just need to start talking about it. The only thing that's driving me crazy. And I'm like, what do I need to stop doing to get it? Is all of these like follow back posts where it's like a picture of someone and then a breakdown of all want to have, you know, find people who want to talk about. And then it's like six, 16 oh, different the, things. Your, your algorithm posts. Oh, is that what they're called? Yeah, I keep getting those, and I'm like, people still doing this? Yes, mm -hmm. I'm like, Sis, there's an article that came out that said that they don't work. Oh well, I keep seeing them. I keep seeing them, and I'm just like, yeah. stop. And you know, and I think as more people come over from Twitter, we'll see more and more of that because that kind of stuff works on, on Twitter. Twitter. Okay. So again, people come into Threads. They it, it's similar. You know, you've got posts, you can repost, you've got quote threads or quote posts so it's there's some similarly structurally there's a lot of similarities but in terms of how the secret sauce and how the magic works it's, it's very different but people don't understand that and then also one thing that's kind of working against what threads is supposed to be all about is they let people just port over their instagram accounts so you got people already established coming in with like hundreds of thousands or mm -hmm. maybe tens of thousands of followers so they kind of come in posting that mumbo jumbo and then it kind of goes out to a large swath of people large swaths of people 
and people engage with it. So then it ends up in people like yours and mine's for you feed. And we don't really want to see it, but because a high number of other accounts are engaging with it because a big follower, you know, had an established account and started posting stuff from Twitter, it kind of goes out. So that kind of stuff's been popping up lately, but I don't know, to me, that kind of stuff doesn't really bother me. Normally I'll just keep scrolling or I'll, I'll mute it. And again, that kind of trains the algorithm. I did see one that was pretty, <laughs> I actually saw one that I actually blocked the person. And I'm not one of those people who are like, block somebody who hasn't directly done anything to you. But the post was so, it was so out of pocket. I was like, nah, <laughs> I can't, I can't take, the, I can't run the, the risk of seeing another post from this person. So I actually blocked them. Oh, oh my. Yeah. That's not normally my thing, but. I had to, uh, I had to make an exception, but yeah, it's, it's, it's been great. Um, you've seemed very happy there. I, uh, it is, it is, it's a lot, but it's, it's fun. And I think as long as it's, it's fun, that's, that's what matters most. And, uh, you know, we've had some wild, <laughs> had some wild days. We've had people get their account randomly suspended and yeah. we like rallied and yeah. got them back within a few hours and it's ha it happened again over the weekend so <laughs> we really have it, it's been it's been fun it's it's a different and then there was a period where people just would say nba threads and then like everybody would go follow them. the back call <laughs> like we got a logo we had somebody create an actual pic because i had suggest i i had suggested it I was like, and I didn't really even think anyone saw it, but someone saw that suggestion and like two people worked collaboratively. So it was like Batman, the NBA thread symbol in there. So I still drop it. I drop it every night after I make, like I'll look at all of the, the games that are on and I pick the team, just which team I look at their, um, their ranking, how they're doing in terms of wins. And then I'll just pick and I'll be like, okay, this is who I got. And I'll post the picture with it just for, just for, you know, hits and giggles, but like, it's that kind of stuff. That's wild. Like just random strange on that. We've talked about coming up with a meetup, mm. a local meetup with, you know, the Charlotte folks that are part of NBA threads. And, you know, I'm working on that for the new year, like find a bar, pick a night, go watch a game, have some drinks, take some pictures, post it on the threads, let everyone know like, Hey, we in here, we're doing yeah. it. So it, it's, it's cool. It, it's, it's been fun. It's, it's different. It's been a different kind of excitement that I don't know that we would have, where we would have gotten it from. So I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying all of the people we're engaging with. I'm like, we got to go to this city. And when we go to this city, we got to meet this person. When we got to go, we got to go to this city. And when we go there, we got to meet up with this person. Like, and I'm like, I have to remind myself, like, these are strangers. <laughs> these are people you do not know. But, like, and I, and, and it reinforces, like, how people can get catfished and, and, mm. and like, how you can build, f like, full on relationships with people that you have never met just on social media. Yeah. It's mind blowing um, how that's possible. But it's a lot of fun. It's a good time. It's a great time. It, it's, it's really good. So, I mean, there's a lot that has happened since our last episode. We've taken a chunk of time. I don't even know if we should bother going. I know the Lakers are losing, so you probably want to go watch this. <laughs> it's like a four-point game. Five. But it's about to be four when he hits his free throw. <clears throat> anyway. Um, so that's it, on, <clears throat> that's it on NBA threats? Yeah, I think we need to, we need to leave... I think it's it's a developing process. I think every episode that we have, we can make space to talk about what's happening on threads, um, who's doing what. Obviously, maybe not dropping names, but just like what we're what we're doing, what we're talking about, what how threads is evolving. Um, unless there's more you want to to talk about, I think you should probably do an isolated episode by yourself. Why I gotta do an episode by myself? Why can't you? This is our podcast. Okay, you've done solo episodes before. I did one, and it was because you were sick, and I interviewed somebody. You've done two you, interviews. You were pregnant, actually. You've done two interviews. 
Oh, and James, yeah. Because you were... Where were you? Out. Oh, yeah, you went out. You weren't even sick. You were just like, nah. Okay. I'm going. You just made the plan. Like, nah, I'm going out. <laughs> Bump your interview, James. I'm going out. Um, nah, man. This is, a, this, is a, this is our thing. We'll leave something. I'm again. rocking my... My sweatshirt you from got, you on know, tagger business. Even from, though my uh, inbox is Sarah. crazy. Have you seen it? I saw it. Told him. I felt for her. We were talking about they want to do another challenge. Like we all another challenge. Like I'm stressed. I'm tired. That's so why I'm glad be she's in there, right? Yeah, I'll jump in. I gotta make my picks, but um someone's gotta design the bracket. Hmm? No, nah, we're not doing a bracket, it's a website. Oh, okay, okay. I think I don't I don't click links. So I mean, Sarah posted as well. Yeah, Sarah posted. You, you just think? never know. I don't click links. Okay. Because I get all these text messages. USPS has a package for you, <laughs> but they need you to complete. Your address is incomplete. Keep it. Yeah. Keep it. There ain't no such thing. You got my phone number, but you don't have my address. Keep the package. Mm. Um. Maybe I'll get into the Christmas one. We'll see. But it's like I don't. I don't need to. Like I'm. Mm-hmm. I'm shacking up with the mayor, so <laughs> I'm privileged. <laughs> so crazy. Uh, it's so it's so random. Like when, I mean, it's so wild when people hit you in your Instagram DMs, <laughs> and they're like, "Yo, what's up, mayor?" <laughs> like my name's David. Da- no, my name's David. You're either Yo Rush or Mayor. I'm I'm, I'm David. Or call me your or call me Rush. What's up, Mayor? So wild. No, it's I it's only and fun. like we talked about, I've only recently started to, yeah, to lean know, into it. That's a beat that is because you're like, I don't want to be and I was like, no the, no one thinks you're pompous or fully yourself. Just it there it's not like you came in here like hot, like I'm the mayor. No. These people just they started calling you that. Yeah, Embrace it. It's cool. Embrace it. it. I mean, I think it just shows the 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 contribution that they see, and and that's not isolating you as the only contributor. It's this yeah. again. This has been a community effort, and you've been very adamant on making sure you're always including like all of the people who were part of why it's where it is today. But you've had a few people who like feel like you've you know kind of stood out a little bit. The mayor. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Like I said, I, I just. And then you got the city council. Like we, mm-hmm. we got a whole, we got a community. We got a. Somebody referred to uh, to to me, Sarah, and a few others as the uh, the mayor and his cabinet. I love that. <laughs> it, but I'm I love that Sarah is also HR. I'm like not, Sarah, I'm not big, I'm not Sarah be regulating stuff. I'm not a big fan of it. Sarah comes in. I can't remember what scandal took place, and she was. Sarah is. She was. She was like. I feel like I've been a therapist all day. Sarah is the glue that holds NBA threads together. Adore her. Yeah, Sarah's goat. And we dropped her name, but she. Sarah's like, Sarah's goat. You're wearing her uh, one of her her products. Um, your sweatshirt, but she she's. An amazing contributor. She's a, uh, she's a glue, and I think she actually kind of inspired me. She there are a few women who are part of the, I feel like foundationally part of the Threads community that made me feel like okay maybe I can be here. Like, I mean Sarah knows her stuff. I'm not anywhere close to her level, but sometimes as a girl, as a female dabbling in in sports talk. It, it's very easy for you to be put down mm. and we've yet to experience that. And I feel like none of the women, nobody will allow that. Like you don't get to come for, yeah. for anybody, but um, she, she's, she definitely keeps things. She keeps the, the ship going. Like God forbid her account ever gets locked. We, we got, we had, we had a scare. We had a scare last week. She, um, she, did she make, she, she kept getting logged in and out or something like that. Oh, I do vaguely remember. Yeah, we didn't really know what was going on. No, there are some people I feel like if their account, like if your account ever got locked, I feel like people would go into headquarters <laughs> and start flipping tables. Uh, the crazy thing is, is like, like how would you? How would someone know? Like, I post like free time when fr- y'all 
because no one knew. Okay, now we're now we're going. We're in it. No now. one, no one knew, but I think uh, someone had tried to at them, and it's like this account doesn't exist. It was like, yo, what happened to Free Time? It was like being on a TV show. I'm sitting, and yes, there's an account on Threads called Free Time. I'm sitting in bed. I'm dressed. It's a work day. I'm doing work on my computer. David comes in the room and he's like, Jess, they got Freak Time. They got Freak Time. I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, they got Freak Time. Freak Time's blocked. I said, what, 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 how is this possible? So I was just like, something's wrong with you. So I go in to, to tag and I'm like, the freak, oh, man. freak time not there what, what do we do when i tell y'all i have never it's like i've never been a part of like obviously i have wasn't part of the american revolution <laughs> i wasn't part of you know the haitian independence i wasn't part of any i have not been part of any true revolt when i tell you it was the most amazing feeling to be in there and posting and saying like y'all better fix this y'all better fix and what made it even better is we were able to fix it enough people were like hold up we got we got a lot of there were some pretty important people and within Facebook working on getting. We need to fix this ASAP. Let me get this. Because they knew my entire for you feed was free. Was free. <laughs> was free. It was just like Look, I was posted. Was freak time, I was like, freak time, freak time, freak time, freak time. I thought David was kidding, but he free time's not here. Oh yeah, we had to get we had to, like had to get free time back. I'm sure it was horrible for free time, but while we were in it, trying to get free time back. It was it was, kind it was of cool. amazing. It was, it was riveting. Cool. I was like, I get, I get marches and and and, and picketing and all yeah. of it. it makes sense because when you are united and you realize like there were people <laughs> who aren't even part of NBA threads who was like, yo, I don't know what free cool free time is. <laughs> free them, but free them, <laughs> free them, please. So I get all these crazy people out my feed. No, it, it was, was it was a lot of fun, and then yeah, we had an incident this weekend. Um, slower response, but it was a weekend. It was a weekend. I think the same weekend as Met, uh, Threads holiday party. Uh, so I think a lot of people were traveling. Okay, yeah. So we had an incident this weekend, and every, it was this. It was still the same rallying of the troops, and we were like Paul Revere and it was Midnight so, Ride. It was so funny because um, one of the, one of the bigger accounts on the one of the more notable accounts. On threads had hit me up because uh, the account that got suspended was was posting something on his his page, and he was like, "Did did this person did, did this person get suspended or account their account restricted?" And I was like, "Yeah." And they were like, "Okay, well, what are we gonna do about it?" And they were like, "I can I can tag so and so, I can tag so and so." So I was like, "Well, we're probably we're gonna this is Friday night." I'm like, yeah. "I was like, we're probably gonna get like the official rally started like tomorrow." And he's on the West Coast. He was like, "Well, let me know what time." He's like, "Cause I want to be want to be a part of it." I was like, hey, "Bro, don't you <laughs> like it's, you sleep? It's seven night like it's early on a Saturday morning. You want it, but that's he's not down. He was down for the cause. So, um, he actually put he replied to an official that the official Threads account was posting about some something random." And he replied and said, this account has been suspended after interacting with something that I said, but they said something like in support of me and blah, blah, blah. And so because this person is notable in NBA threads, someone saw his post and was like, CC, <laughs> Mario Rush. <laughs> I'm like, what do people think? I'm like, what do people think? I'm, I mean, I was going to say some stuff. Nah. But you what matter. do people think I'm going to do? Like, you. You are the mayor. You it was just so funny when people see stuff going on. They're like, they tag me. And I'm just like. You got to fix it. That's what mayors do. <laughs> you, you can and you will. I mean, I may. I, we all fixed it. We all fixed, did, but we all fixed it. That. We, it was a team. At it was just like CC Mario Rush. It was just hilarious. And I was, and I jumped in and I did my thing. And I, I learned um, because if it had gone past. Sunday, like we got late into Sunday, I was thinking about doing the same thing I did for free time and saying, all right, well, if 
No, we didn't. You just slept in. Hmm? You just slept in because I was making breakfast when I when sh- when the account was back. At, yeah, back but I'm then. saying had it gone too long on the Sunday, okay. I would have done the same thing I did with free time. Oh, book, not post. Yeah, I mean, I had to post, not post in solidarity. And a lot of people, and I don't think anybody, some people I think took what I did, misunderstood what I did mm-hmm. with free time. It wasn't like, oh, this is me rallying against the establishment. It was like, no, like free time literally can't post. They can't, mm-hmm. and they're one of the OGs. So why should I be posting? Yeah, I don't want to post if if they can't. And I even said in my post that I understand that it's being worked on, and I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. But you know, if free time can't post, and I can't post, and some people thought that was me like being upset. I'm the number one. I don't really get upset with strangers. I said, but also, no, it's just more like a solidarity thing. So I was close to doing that. But luckily, I didn't have to the second time. So, and then, like when they come back again, this has only happened twice. But it's such a. I don't know. I can't explain it. Like I, I, I wasn't. I haven't been able to be part of any big movements. But it feels it's like they freed our person. Yeah. We did it. We got him back. Yeah. They went to the trenches. We pulled them out. Yeah, people back. It's 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 cool. It's really cool to be to be here. Um, yeah, I hope it stays that way. Yeah, and there's a lot of people on there who who I really really appreciate and are really talented. Like there's a lot of really talented people yes. on there who've got their own. Obviously, they do things in in the real world in their day to day, but people who have like side projects, basketball people run their podcasts, they have websites, you've got analytics nerds, uh, people who do merch. Like it's just, it's just a really great community. I try to support everybody in different ways, whether it's listening or buying something, um, not just for the sake of doing it, but because, you know, I appreciate them and if they've got cool stuff and then obviously I'll, I'll wear it or buy it. Um, but yeah, it's it's a really cool, it's a really fun, fun place, and I, I hope it. I'll do what I can to make sure it stays that way, and I'm looking forward to it continuing to uh, to grow. You know, Threads got a got some advertisements at the end season tournament mm-hmm. in Vegas, and you know, I think that that'll that relationship will only continue to grow, and I think NBA Threads played a really big part in a lot of what's happening with the official NBA um, corporation and, and threads. So it's, uh, it's cool. It's very ground, very ground level. Things are still happening and mm-hmm. evolving. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's just dope. And I've, I've been able to meet some people who I've been very fond of for years and have have looked up to and like in a media creative space or like like legends in my eyes and I've been able to meet them through and because of NBA threads. And I'm just I'm just grateful. <laughs> it's, it's just crazy to me. Like I'm just I'm like I feel like that fan who like snuck in. <laughs> like he's not supposed to be here, but I but nobody's kicked me out. But nobody's kicked me out, so I'm just kind of chilling. Let's blow with it. And I, I'm really excited to see where, what is the end of the season is going to look like. I think it's going to be really exciting. Yeah, somebody posted something. I think I saw one of the Meta employees say, uh, exciting in-season tournament bracket. Can't wait for the playoffs and then drop the eye emoji. You heard it first. I don't know, but (laughs) but look, I don't know if that means anything. Um, I'm not planning anything. (laughs) You might need to forward, like, quote, throw, thread that to somebody. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not planning anything, but that doesn't mean that that something won't happen. And maybe I'll be a part of it. Maybe I won't. I'm pretty sure. See, that's that's one of the, I'm not going to say the downside to being mayor, but. Um, people just kind of always expect for you to be a part. Like the end, like we're we gonna do, get you to governor. We're doing um, nickname to governor. Yeah, because governors don't do shit. Um, but they do more than mayors. 
Or you need to be like a senator? I thought I'd be like an aide. <laughs> Somebody's aide. Look. Intern. It wasn't an aide who just got back shots in the... Was... <laughs> 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 I was like, ooh. Then posted it on LinkedIn. I was like, why are dude cheeks up in the air like that, though? Anyways. Sorry. Side, Sorry sidebar. Sorry. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, somebody tagged Sarah and me in the post, and I was like, oh, maybe we should do a Christmas Day challenge. No, they were like, hate to add more to your plate, Sarah and David, or Sarah and your rush, and then suggested that we do a, a Christmas a Day idea. A Christmas Day challenge. I think people... I and think, I'm like, bro... But that was the thing. But num- Number one... <laughs> Being first, volunteer. First and foremost, don't say hate to add more to your plate and then add more to my plate. Just nix that first part. Just add it. Just say what you're going to say. I think. Say what you need to say. I think what, what at least for me, the in season tournament, which NBA, I know people were not for it. They thought it was a bad idea. It really brought excitement to this the season at a very early point in the season. Right. And I think there was a high that was created. And I feel like a lot of NBA fans are wanting to recreate that high. And I think some doing something for Christmas and making it big can help recreate that high. Mm-hmm. And then, so, and that's essentially what a high is. You're chasing the next high, to, right. but you need it to be higher than the last one. So I think, because it was so successful with the in-season tournament, people are like, I loved the camaraderie. I loved the conversations. I loved what we were doing here. I want, what, what's next? What, give me my next hit. And yeah. Christmas is the next hit. And then it's like, okay, what's the next hit after Christmas? We got to find that. Um, and then you'll have playoffs. Then you'll have finals. But I really think that's also part of why the community was so successful at its, at its launch. Because there was something different. The, this, the timing was so, all the elements of the equation were so perfect. You've got this new app, this new community of people who want somewhere to converse. And then you've got this new tournament that is also being a, a very big part of pulling people together. So I think um, you better make some space on your plate. Well, I did. Well, Sarah kind of took lead on this one. Okay. Well, I mean, make sure you support her. I am. Okay. Not just wearing her merch. It was a miss big part. Stuff needs to be going to your inbox. <laughs> I ain't going to my inbox because she responded to my post because I post. I replied and she was like, "I only have myself to blame." Yeah, yeah. But she's she's she and I, she and I are really aligned. I think in that we want to make sure that we do things that everybody can get involved mm-hmm. with, and nobody really feels left out. Because that was one thing about. Uh, the end season tournament for a number of things that happened. Uh, not everybody felt included. Not everybody got to participate in some of the things that went on. So I think with the Christmas day challenge, the way we're doing it, a lot more people can, can be involved. Um, won't be any pizza. So <laughs> I don't, yeah, you're not going to get, you not you're not going to get pizza on Christmas day. So I hope nobody, is participating thing in that that's going to be a perk. Yeah. I think we're going to go back to bragging rights. So. And I guess on another episode, we'll have to elaborate on the pizza. Yeah. The pizza was, from what I hear, it was a wild time on the it was time. Good. Right? Look, leading up to the actual delivery of said pizzas. Look, HR, which is Sarah <laughs> and first lady over here. We were stressed for, for a good 15 minutes. We, we mm-hmm. had our concerns. Um, but it all worked out. It all worked out. Yeah. Yeah, NBA Threads. If you're trying to find me, because Jessica still be on those other platforms, except for X. I was like, yeah, I don't. I, you're looking for me on social media. I'm on Threads. Hey, hey yo, Rush. Dang. Hmm. The Knicks are down. Yes, they are. I missed two point game. And, uh, you know, I realized I got to find new social media buttons for us. You know, that beginning of the episode I put. Oh, yeah. You going to switch it over to threads? If I can. I don't. The last time I checked, nobody had made any. So, and I don't know how to make them. I just 
Do we Down, need to put a call out? Just download it. Do I need to put a call out? Put it on the threads? No. I'm going to put it out there. No, I'm please don't. Because like, you don't know what they're called. Yeah, I'm like, y'all, this thing that I don't know what they're called. We need them for our podcast. Can somebody make I think them? I, I think I, or there's enough time that I can I can find. Or just, I'll just put words instead of a graphic. Okay. Well, y'all, um, it's our threaded episode. We're back. Uh, I think because we took a break, we don't need to take a winter break. So we'll probably... Yeah, well, I think we'll drop the uh, the interview that we did oh, okay. next week. That'll be our post. That'll be our post Christmas episode. I'm uh, really excited about that one. Really, I haven't even started to edit it, so I'm. Was I'm epic. hopeful that I'm hopeful that nothing messed up because it'd be like, oh, I can't run the interview. But it, it's an interview surprise, and um, I'd love to do a recap because there's been a lot of stuff that's oh, happened. A lot, of, a lot of stuff dropped today. Some news broke today, so mm-hmm. Marvel um, Universe is marveled. Well, yeah. I don't know. Maybe we can get. I always say this, but it never it doesn't happen very often. Extended maybe, vibes. Maybe we can get two episodes in next week, but we'll see. Yeah. Close this. Close this up. I don't normally close this up. No, you don't normally do it, but go ahead and do it. Ah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your audience and joining us on this here I see, episode. Like, I got tagged in something else. Of rushed vibes. Lord have mercy. Um, please follow us on Facebook. Like and subscribe on YouTube. Rushed vibes, yeah. Rushed vibes. Also on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram. Rushed vibes. Go to our individual handles at Yo Rush on Threads. J three SS Rush on Threads, join the conversation. Um, share with a friend. That can be if you forget to get a Christmas gift for someone, you can give them the gift of Rushed Fives. Um, but we're back. We missed you. We hope you missed us. Um, cue music. <laughs> Man, we'll see y'all next week. <laughs> Bye. None but some girl pains. Yeah, hey, hey. I done came way too far, can't stop me now. I done came way too far, can't stop me now. I done came way too far, can't stop me now. I done came way too far, can't stop me now. Can't stop me now. Can't stop me now. Yeah, I done came way too far, can't stop me now.